as the chemicals they take us higher. This is where we can move through life with confidence when we know no matter what happens, we've got ourselves. It is a lot less scary to do new things, to put yourself out there, to change and to shift. Our hearts beat through the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in came back from my walk it is so cold out but so beautiful and every Saturday there is a little market just in front of our house so I bought some eucalyptus which I'm gonna put in the shower it has so many benefits I've never done it before I always wanted to do it because I know it's so simple but it's just going to turn your shower into kind of a wellness experience I want to say but also it's really good if you have a cold if you've got something with your lungs if you sick but also it's just really relaxing and calming the hot steam activates the oils of the plant to come out and that's what we want so i'm gonna make some breakfast and then it's time for an everything shower my hair is already oiled and i'm really excited because it's gonna be my first youtube video and i don't even know if this is gonna make it <laughs> the cut to be honest what i'm sharing here but i'm really excited because i want to introduce a segment called matcha therapy and i have something really cool to talk about as well as i want to set some goals for this year and i want to take you along because i do think that it's just so much more fun to know you're doing it with someone <laughs> natural foods, a lot of plants, a lot of fiber because it's just so important for your digestion, for your body. And while I eat, I'm just gonna watch a vlog because I'm absolutely obsessed with YouTube. This is also why I'm starting this channel myself because since starting my own business, I've realized that there are some platforms that I really have no emotional connection to, that I have no joy on using myself, but YouTube is really like the one platform that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love watching vlogs. And I just, I feel like it's the best form of entertainment, but it's also inspiring and motivating. And yeah, so I hope this, what I'm going to be creating for you is going to give you the same. It's going to be motivating and inspiring and going to make you feel like you belong. The chemical peel from Ordinary. It's a respite that I have left <laughs> and then it's empty. I just quickly want to do my nails and I always do them myself because I have like no patience to sit in a salon for like hours and hours and have to like, I guess this commitment to having to go there uh, all the time. And so I just do them myself and I'm gonna show you the result afterwards because this might be a little bit boring and I'm still trying to figure out how to do all of the stuff, the time lapses. And The chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine, we wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Pulls stars from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. Every shot from the top. Okay, 
well. This outfit probably doesn't make any sense look-wise, but let's be warm. Actually, I think it's kind of cute. It gives me cottage vibes. Welcome to Matcha Therapy. So I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a really, really long time. I have never resisted <laughs> a goal as much as this one. So I'm honestly so happy and so proud of myself for sitting here with my matcha in my hand. I've done so many matcha therapies on my Instagram. 10 minute motivational, inspirational, helpful kind of series where I talked about mindset, manifestation, habits, wellness, and so much more to really support you become your best self. I knew when starting a YouTube channel, I definitely want to integrate a quick matcha therapy segment. If I would ask people what I'm known for, friends, family, and people that don't even know me that well or know me through social media, they would be talking about matcha. So I'm gonna drink my matcha with you and I will just talk about something that is a mindset shift or something helpful to support you in reaching your goals and feeling your best and looking your best and manifesting everything that you really really deserve and desire this is the first video of 2024 and the first video of my <laughs> channel in general what i really want to talk about is trust and the word promise you might have seen a lot of wellness influencers coaches personal development junkies speak about choosing a word for the year that is the overlying theme that always brings you back to your vision that reminds you of why you're doing what or what you are wanting to do and i have two words one is consistency and one is promise and in this metro therapy segment i want to speak about promise it is something that will 100 percent change your life it has changed the lives of so many of my clients in the past and it has changed my life and I feel like last year I kind of lost sight of that aspect. I want to say the word promise, what it really means and why it's important specifically when we're setting goals, when we're planning and when we're taking action towards a life, a business, a career, a relationship that we really desire. Whether it's your dream body or anything really that you want to achieve, promise is the one thing that is going to shift everything. Oftentimes we set goals because we think we have to be somewhere, we think we have to achieve certain things. The promise aspect of it is coming back to why are we doing it and who are we doing it for. Actually, we have learned to be selfless and we do want to learn to become more self-centered again because it's you that is the exit point of everything in your life. When we set a goal and we move forward and we're really showing up for it for like two weeks and then we stop and never do it again, it breaks the trust with yourself. Every single time we say, oh, on Monday I'm going to start dieting. Oh, on Monday I'm going to start working out. This year I'm going to do this. And us not showing up for it, every time we say it in the first place, we're making a promise. We're making a promise to ourselves without realizing it. We're telling ourselves that we're going to do something and we're not going to show up for it. Now, everything is a relationship and the most important relationship is the relationship that you have with yourself. So imagine you in a friendship or in a relationship with your partner and you constantly tell them, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, but you never ever show up for it. How is that person going to feel? And this is how you feel yourself subconsciously 
every time you say I'm gonna do this but you're not gonna end up doing and I feel like last year was a year for me where I did this a lot to myself and I do really feel it took a massive toll on my trust and of course there's things that happen in life that break our trust or people break our trust but the thing is that if you are a hundred percent sure that you can rely on yourself that when you say something it's a promise that you will hold your trust is unbreakable because you've got yourself, you've got nothing you to lose, you are unshakable. You are unshakable within yourself because no matter what happens in life or with people, you've got yourself. So this is the year 2024 where I really wanna go back to this and really rebuild that relationship with myself and rebuild that trust and hold a promise. I don't wanna say things lightly of saying, oh, I'm gonna stop eating out and then two days later, I wanna order a pizza. I wanna move with intention and I want to really bring promise as a word into 2024 that reminds me of every word I say that it has an impact on myself and that the actions want to be in alignment with the words that I use, with the promises I make. If you find it hard to trust, trust the universe, trust your mother, trust your partner, trust your friend, it starts with you. The ability to trust starts with ourselves and the way that we can rebuild trust is by showing up for ourselves is by showing up for what we're promising and so this is basically the matcha therapy of today that i wanted to bring in because today's video i want to do some goal setting i want to plan for 2024 start my vision board it's you that is a foundation if your foundation within yourself is strong everything else gets to be strong in your life if the foundation with yourself is shaky if the trust with yourself is shaky the trust in other people will be shaky it's really easy to outsource our power to outsource our trust to outsource how we find ourselves meaning if we find ourselves beautiful, worthy, it's really easy to place it at someone else, but it creates a very shaky foundation because the moment that person pulls something away, our foundation shakes because there's no longer proof that we're worthy, that we're loved, that we get to trust. This is really where trust is for me the biggest thing. If we need to work on one thing in this world, it's trust and it starts with trusting ourselves again. And so this is the mantra therapy. I don't know, I'm probably gonna edit this a bit and cut some parts out because I, I'm i so passionate about these things and I get so into, into it that I could speak about it for hours and do some planning for 2024 to make it our best year yet. So let's go. Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like once we're reflected on the last year, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brain dump everything I want to change in my life. We want to make sure that our vision and our goals are as specific as possible. It doesn't mean that we need to go into the nitty gritty, but instead of saying I want to have a successful year in my business or in my career, what does that really mean? How are you going to measure? This is the thing. We want to write things down that we can actually see in our life, whether they're manifest and be realized or whether they're not gonna be. Because obviously success is a very generic term and it means something else to me than it does to you. So I wanna start with my vision board and the first step is going to be making the place cozy. So let's light some candles. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemical 